Hey, hello, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a accessory UI removal uh, system thingy. Uh, so this is an example. You have my player character here. You click on this button, you open up the UI. You have this mask accessory, I click on delete and it goes away. I can open and close it again. I can remove all the accessories. I open it again. You see the ones I have, the spell book gone, the backpack gone see i now have nothing on my player character and this is also empty so uh in order to make this you're gonna need to insert a screen gui and inside of that you insert a frame just put this frame in a corner and make it invisible uh, make it full transparency that's all you need to do with that and then you make the uh then you insert a scrolling frame inside of the uh, inside of this frame that you just placed in a corner or whatever uh, and so in here we are gonna make the button that you have to press to remove the accessories so I have my button already made over here so uh, I made it a frame so I can make it more so I can design it a bit better so inside of this frame I have a text button which is the delete button and I have a text label which is where the name goes. You don't have to do anything in them, just make two uh, uh, things, a text button and a text label inside of a frame. That frame goes inside of the scrolling frame. But for now you're going to drag this frame and put it in replicated storage, put it in a folder called GUI and just put it over there uh, because uh, we're gonna get to that in the script so uh, and then once you have the scrolling frame done and the buttons done you just add a basic text button inside of the same frame and uh, if you make your scrolling frame a bit big to the point where you don't have this slide uh, oh, where you don't have this scroll scroll bar thingy uh, all you have to do is click on the scrolling frame scroll a bit down in properties all the way down till you see canvas size and just increase the canvas size until you see this appear again and that's how you fix that if you get it so inside of the screen uh, GUI you're gonna insert a let me make this invisible you're gonna insert a local script inside of the local script we're gonna do this so First of all, we're going to do local player so we can find the local uh, local player. And then we're going to mention the UI. Make sure it says player.player GUI because we're going to in interact with the player GUI of your of the of that specific player. Uh, we're going to mention the click uh, the button. We're going to mention this button to, and then just open it for uh, open so we can uh, on false so we can op click on this button and to open and close it all the time so you can see you click on the on the, the text button and then if they check if open is false if it is false it makes this UI uh, visible and it puts it to true because it's now opened and then it gets the uh, children of the character so the accessories uh, it checks it, uh, it gets everything that uh, it's uh, that's inside the character and if it's an accessory then it grabs this frame it clones the frame and then puts the frame inside of this and then make sure that the name matches and then uh, uh, yeah and that when you click on the delete button it uh, gets deleted so when you click on the delete button this delete button inside of the frame uh, it destroys the frame over here and it destroys the accessory over here and then if you continue further you have else so if it is open and you want to close it all you do is make it very invisible but open to false then grab the descendants of this UI and then we're gonna remove all the frames that are inside of here so if you have any of other stuff it gets deleted ex only frames get deleted all the other stuff you uh, you get to keep inside but we do this because otherwise if you constantly open it it keeps grabbing this and copying it so even though if you have one accessory it could say like oh you have to equipped because the old ones were never removed and that's basically all you have to do 
to make it work. So make sure this again is invisible. So when you join, you click on it and you can delete it. And like I said, you, I only have the spellbook equipped. I cl close it and then uh, if I open up my player GUI, you can see I have nothing and I open it and now I have spellbook. I delete it and I don't have anything anymore. Uh, so thank you so much for watching. If you could please like and subscribe, it really helps me out. And if you have any questions or issues, don't forget to join the Discord. Me or someone else will help you to solve any issues. If you want to learn scripting in Roblox, you can also join the Discord. Just any related scripting issues, join it. Ask me or someone else will help you. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Have a nice day.